You fell in love with the PlayStation VR 2. Does, uh, does Quest 3 take your new spot in your heart? Oh, that's a difficult answer. Uh, PSVR 2 has brought me with Resident Evil, Gran Turismo 7, Horizon, and most recently, 100 Hours in No Man's Sky. Uh, it's really one top spot for me. The OLED panel is just gorgeous. Uh, real life looks great in the headset. In other words, uh, there's a lighting effect in that headset, and the brights and darks look fantastic. So it's just, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that a standalone headset like the Medic Quest 3 can beat PSVR 2 right now from a gaming perspective. However, for PC VR and um, for standalone experiences that are only on the Meta Quest ecosystem, then I think it will be my my B headset. So I think my A headset for for gaming is still going to be PSVR 2. I don't mind a cable. I don't mind a tethered experience. Some people really don't like that. Uh, but for me, it's not a problem at all. And it's just. The Quest 3, I think, is going to be my daily driver when it comes to PC VR, watching videos, travel, and it'll probably take the spot for any kind of productivity or work, um, as well as being the standalone device, which for certain apps like Mixed Reality, uh, for Spatial Ops and Space Pirate Arena, those kinds of games, um, nothing else comes close. Uh, T for God, for example, is a fantastic title that you have to try once you get one of these. One of the cool things that MetaQuest 3 does offer, I have to add, is that it allows you to map automatically your house. And you can map the rooms of your house all interconnected and even multiple floors, which is crazy. And then it will share that mapping data with other headsets on your same local area network. So you can do multiplayer in a fixed grid that isn't different between headset A and headset B. And that is a huge leap over Quest 2. So uh, PSVR 2, Still kicking the house.